Welcome to Motivational Monday. I want to talk today about one of our, we have those seven habits of really effective, successful, or people who work with excellence every day, right? And one of them is be a dealership ambassador, right? What does that mean? Now, I don't really mean it. Be out there on the streets, right, waving the flag or anything like that. Although, of course, I want to be talking about where I work and what I do and inviting people. And, of course, that's, that's part of it. But that's not what we're talking about today. I want to talk about one aspect of being a dealership ambassador, which is this to own every single customer interaction, right? To take responsibility for every customer interaction that you have, for the outcome of it, right? Regardless if it's your customer or not, right? Now, what does that look like in a dealership? I'll tell you what it looks like. Let's say the phone rings and they call and they say, hey, I'm calling for Chris and Chris is off today. So many people, non-ambassadors, well, he's off. Should I take a message and have him call you? A dealership ambassador would say, listen, today his day is his day out, but don't worry. I'm his partner here. We work together. Uh, what can I help you with? Maybe there's some questions I can answer in the meantime. Does that make sense? Customer comes into the showroom, says, hey, I would like to see Chris. And Chris is in training right now. What do I do? Hang on a second. Let me go get him out of training. He only gets an hour and a half of training, but let me interrupt it. <laughs> right? No. Guys, you stop and you say, uh, Rock and Roll, Chris is here today. He is in training for another hour and a half. Um, but let me do this. Let me help you. What do you need? And I'd be glad to help you with that, right? And so, guys, our first notion as a dealership ambassador is what? What can I do to take care of the customer in front of me? Not whose responsibility is it, not whose customer is it, but what? Can I satisfy this customer? Guys, can we tell you what we find out? We find out salesmen being pulled out of sales training all the time for the most ridiculous reason. You got a customer here, you got a customer here, get out of here. He walks out, the customer's bringing their car back to get clean for delivery because they picked it up late. Couldn't somebody else have handled that? Couldn't somebody else have made that go well? Absolutely. Guys, we want to be a benefit to not only our buyers, our customers, we want to be a benefit to each other, right? We talked about that interdependence, right? We want to be a benefit. And one of the ways that we do that, guys, is when we step up our game and we take responsibility for that buyer, for that customer in front of us, I can help you. Let me help you with this, right? Um, guys, I just want to encourage you. Look for ways to be a benefit and look for ways to satisfy the customer in front of you today, right? Have an awesome week.